remembering North Country leaders. A portion of Route 283 in Jefferson County is now called the Colonel Michael Plummer Memorial Highway, honoring the late Army leader who was a figurehead in the North Country. It's sort of a thank you that I want to give the family and Mary that shared him with us because it's the families behind the uh, our, our people in the military that support and uh, you have done that over the years and uh, so can, I want to thank you for that, sharing him with us. Officially dedicating the highway in front of Plummer's family, a bittersweet moment. It's, it's hard because I really do listen. And, but at the same time, it brings back so many wonderful memories. These memories, including the Plumber's legacy in the North Country. Colonel Plummer was instrumental in reviving Fort Drum in the 1980s. In 1980, he wrote a white paper that said, hey, the Army needs more light infantry. I am here today because of that white paper, and so are, so are all the other ones wearing their uniforms. Plummer was the first chief of staff of the new Fort Drum in 1985. He also started the Adopt-a-Platoon program, which he volunteered for until his death in 2022. But according to his family, he was humble in every way. He just never, never would have thought of himself like that, you know. And that's exactly what I thought. He's probably out there saying, why did you let them do that? <laughs> to know that people actually know and realize means the world. The Colonel Michael Plummer Highway spans from the city of Watertown and town of Pamelia Line to the intersection of Interstate 342. Reporting from Watertown, I'm Isabella Colello.